Joe Biden, there were so many lies yesterday, so many weird things that happened that we could not cover them all. So we missed this one. Well, we saw it, but we couldn't fit it in. Here it is now. Joe Biden, civil rights icon, something along those lines. He was out there getting arrested as a youngster. I did not walk in the shoes of generations of students who walked these grounds, but I walked other grounds because I'm so damn old, I was there as well. <laughs> they think I'm kidding, man. <laughs> Seems like yesterday, the first time I got arrested. Anyway. First time he got arrested. Yes, I've heard him tell the I got arrested story before. Before. This day, 30 years ago, Nelson Mandela walked out of prison and entered into discussions about apartheid. I had the great honor of meeting him. I had the great honor of being arrested with our UN ambassador on the streets of Soweto trying to get to see him on Robbins Island. I came back from South Africa trying to see Nelson Mandela and getting arrested for trying to see him on Robbins Island. He was in prison. Wow, getting arrested, <laughs> going to see Nelson Mandela. What a story. Where's the arrest report? Where's the evidence of any of this? There is none. Joe is lying, as we know he does all the time. On this one, he was caught. He said that during a visit to South Africa uh, to visit Nelson Mandela, which I know is a very memorable visit for you, that you were arrested when you were there. Your campaign has come out since and said, no, 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 you were separated from other people at the airport. But you did say arrest three yeah. times. What? Why? Well, what I meant to say was. What you meant to say, you said it loud and clear, arrested, you were arrested. Did you mean to say something else? <sighs> All right, here it comes, the gibberish. What, what I meant to say was, I, I got off that, look, I, I strongly, strongly, strongly opposed the tarp apartheid. I was one of the leaders, and if you doubt it, go on JoeBiden.com and look at the exchange between George Schultz and me and the Foreign Relations Committee. And here's the deal. I was with a black delegation, the CDC, the, the, the Congressional Black Caucus. They had me get off a plane. The offer Connors got on in their short pants and their guns. Let me off for- And it goes on like, like this. He's babbling. He does not know what to say. He does not know how to explain it. He goes on like this for about two and a half minutes. Finally, <laughs> finally he cops to it, but in the weirdest Joe Biden way. That's the context of it. When I okay. said arrested, I meant I was not able to, I was not able to move. Cops, Alfred Connors would not let me go with them, made me stay where I was. I guess I, I wasn't arrested. I was stopped. I was not able to move where I wanted to go. Okay, like kind of when you're at a red light, okay? <laughs> when you're stopped, when you get held up, not arrested. That is a, that's a lie. Joe Biden's very, very good at these things. Actually, he's not that good. He's not even artful about it. Now, here's one. He says uh, back when he was a young man, he actually snuck into the United States Senate. This happened on January 6th. He would have been arrested. This actually does not sound good at all. Listen to this. So what was that like, uh, walking into the great Senate chamber at 29 years old? You know, I walked in when I was 21 and I got arrested. I was a, it was a Saturday. I was down visiting some friends at Georgetown University. And uh, I came up on a Saturday morning because I was fascinated with the Senate. And they had a Saturday session. I walked up those days, no guards stopping you everywhere. And, I, and they just got out of session. I walked in the back. All of a sudden, I found myself in the chamber and I was stunned. I walked up, sat down in the presiding officer's seat. Guy grabbed me by the shoulder, said, you're under arrest. Literally, nine years later, as I walked onto the Senate floor through the same door, that same guy, cop, uh, said to me, Senator, you remember me? And I said, geez, I don't. He said, I arrested you nine years ago. Wow. How about <laughs> he that? Said, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> Sounds like Joe thinks that whenever he talks to a cop, he's being arrested. <laughs> by the way, what he did is a lot like what the Horns guy did walked into the Senate and had a seat. That guy is in jail now. I think he's gonna be there for five years. That's not right. Isn't it fascinating that Joe Biden, we know he lies all the time, yet the media, they don't call him out on it. He gets away with it. They don't have some long running list of all the lies he's told, but the guy who tells the truth, 
bravely, boldly, President Trump, he's the one they're always trying. This is just, it's not, it's not.